being open and honest about my creativity has been a journey. It's been a journey that I've been on my entire life, but I didn't start documenting that journey until July of 1994. And in the process of jotting things down, I began to see someone that I didn't know. I began listening to someone I didn't think I would ever get to know. Creativity. It has a voice. But are you listening to it? Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I don't know where to start. I really don't. I mean, it's, it's really evolved into a path of so many changes that you're learning to recognize the changes in you. Everything around you is changing, and you thought, I'm going to stand up and be strong, only to realize little bits of you are falling off every day. And you have to understand how you're going to replenish or rebuild the newer you. I mean, building newer ways to get up in the morning. It begins with being grateful for what you rested for, to receive it, to be able to say, thank you. But was it enough? During these times of endless change, our hearts and minds have been overtaken by daily stress. Now, knowing this puts us in a place of having a better awareness of how it is that we do receive. I'm guilty of instantly getting bad news through that damn smartphone. As much as I try to shy away from the network news, it's too easy for me to grip a fast glance because knowing the events of the world for some stinking reason, it makes me feel some sort of security which isn't true. I don't feel more secure knowing that the events in Illinois could happen anywhere on this planet. Getting up is supposed to be your first step into the daily gift, to be mindful of receiving a new set of hours. But if you enter it with fear or a lack of interest because luck isn't on your side, the new step is to somehow rediscover. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am aware. I am mindful. I am grateful. And all I do is I take a thought and share it. And I always invite you to do the same. Because what you experience could be something that I need. Share your emails, your text messages. Let's create conversation. That's what this is all about. The Daily Mess. What are today's goals? Feels like a lot of weight on your shoulders, right? Too much pressure. Don't even bring this up. Oh, how many times have you had that conversation? Don't even bring it up. The first goal is to keep the mental poisons away from entering the rest of your body. This is why I daily write. It's to never to pry open the soul, but to hear the ambition of creative flow coming into the light. Which means what? To the average person, to someone who is just discovering that they might have a slight understanding of what being creative is, because it doesn't happen overnight. I love listening to musicians and actors talk about how they located a place in their home to put paint on a canvas. Howard Stern is all over this. I mean, that dude loves his watercolors. Keeping the poisons out of your body isn't a virus that can be cured with time or some sort of penicillin. Every person on this planet was born with an imagination that does not turn off. What you think and how you think is fed by when, where, and why you think. Keeping the mental poisons free of your next decision. I've always told people that I can spot a depression two weeks out. I know when something does not feel right, which is every bit the reason why I do write first thing in the morning, and I also keep a defrag journal throughout the day. I'm documenting the process of these pieces falling off. And the question is always going to be, what are we going to learn from this? How are we going to activate this? Learn, then activate. Not preach, not scold, not judge. Learn then activate. People will watch what you are doing and they will learn and activate on their own. Now, this could be something that I picked up while I was in martial arts, growing into the shape of a third degree black belt. You learn that the best place to learn is on the sidelines. Because while you're watching other students 
Do what you've been taught. Inside your mind and soul, you're seeing their mistakes could also be your mistakes. People always say, well, I practice every day, but are you practicing good? Are you practicing right? There's a difference between good and great. It's about this much. And the question is, it's all in the mindset. Winning is a choice. Being strong with yourself doesn't mean, hey, my goal today, I don't have one. I think I'm just going to loaf around and binge watch some television. All right, do it. Do it. That's your choice. But then you can't take your poison after six hours of television binge watching and give it to somebody else. Don't, don't. Because you decided that you're not going to exercise your right to bring forward your energy. I'm not bringing judgment. I'm just saying that the process of keeping the mental poison out of the rest of your body begins with the power of choice. I write. That's my way of listening. There's something inside of that. That thing right there. That's my body. There's something in there. It wants to speak. Are you allowing it to speak from you? Like I was talking about, the creative people who discover art on a canvas. My God. If you could see this studio, it's filled with all of my art. Because it was a way of expressing the activation after I learned something new. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mass.